The Concept of Arthur by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. The concept of Arthur in Hinduism is a fundamental aspect of the religion and has deep-rooted significance in the lives of its followers. Arthur, which is one of the four aims of human life in Hinduism, holds a multifaceted meaning that encompasses material well-being, prosperity and the pursuit of wealth. To comprehend the concept of Arthur in Hinduism, it is essential to delve into its historical and philosophical origins. The ancient Indian scriptures, particularly the Vedas, Upanishads and the two great epics, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana, provide insights into the early conceptualization of Arthur. In these texts, Arthur is depicted as a vital pursuit that is intertwined with the other three aims of human life, namely Dharma, righteousness, Kama, pleasure, and Moksha, liberation. The Rig Veda, for instance, acknowledges the importance of wealth and prosperity in sustaining the social order and fulfilling one's duties. Furthermore, the philosophical underpinnings of Arthur can be found in the ancient treatises such as the Arthur Shastra by Kautilya and the Manasmriti. These texts offer detailed guidance on governance, economics and the ethical acquisition of wealth. Kautilya's Arthur Shastra, in particular, provides a comprehensive framework for statecraft, economic policies and the ethical responsibilities of the ruler towards the welfare of the kingdom. The Manusmriti, on the other hand, delineates the social hierarchy and the ethical conduct pertaining to wealth, trade and commerce. Arthur, as a concept, encompasses a wide spectrum of meanings and implications within the Hindu religious and cultural context. On one level, it refers to the pursuit of economic prosperity and financial stability. This aspect of Arthur emphasises the ethical means of wealth acquisition, the responsible management of resources and the equitable distribution of wealth within society. In the contemporary world, this interpretation of Arthur resonates with the principles of ethical business practices, sustainable development and social justice. Moreover, Arthur extends beyond the individual pursuit of wealth to encompass the collective well-being of society. It underscores the significance of economic policies, governance and social institutions in fostering a harmonious and prosperous community. The concept of Arthur, therefore, interweaves the ethical dimensions of economic activities with the broader goal of societal welfare and progress. This holistic understanding of Arthur aligns with the principles of social responsibility, inclusive growth and the ethical conduct of individuals and institutions in the economic sphere. In the Hindu philosophical framework, the relationship between Arthur and Dharma is intricate and interconnected. While Arthur pertains to the pursuit of material well-being and prosperity, Derma embodies the ethical and moral responsibilities that guide an individual's actions and choices. The interplay between Arthur and Derma underscores the ethical considerations that govern the pursuit of wealth and economic activities in Hinduism. According to Hindu teachings, the pursuit of Arthur must be aligned with the principles of Derma, ensuring that wealth is acquired through righteous means and utilised for the greater good. This ethical dimension of Arthur emphasises the importance of honesty, integrity and compassion in economic endeavours, thereby reinforcing the ethical foundations of Hindu society. The adherence to Dharma in the pursuit of Arthur reflects the broader ethical framework that governs the conduct of individuals, communities and institutions in the economic domain. The concept of Arthur continues to exert a profound influence on the economic, social and ethical fabric of contemporary Hindu society. In the modern context, the pursuit of Arthur encompasses diverse spheres such as business, governance, environmental sustainability and social welfare. The principles of ethical wealth creation, 
equitable distribution of resources and sustainable development resonate with the enduring relevance of Arthur in shaping responsible economic practices and policies. Furthermore, the ethical considerations embedded in the concept of Arthur find expression in the realm of corporate social responsibility, where businesses are increasingly embracing their ethical obligations towards stakeholders, communities and the environment. The integration of Arthur with principles of sustainability, ethical governance and social justice reflects the evolving dynamics of Hindu ethics in response to contemporary economic and social challenges. In summary, the concept of Arthur in Hinduism embodies a rich tapestry of philosophical, ethical and practical dimensions that underscore the pursuit of material well-being, prosperity and ethical conduct in economic endeavours. Its historical evolution, philosophical underpinnings and contemporary relevance position Arthur as a cornerstone of Hindu ethics and societal welfare. By integrating the pursuit of wealth with the principles of righteousness, social responsibility and holistic well-being, the concept of Arthur exemplifies the enduring ethical principles that continue to guide the economic and social dynamics of Hindu society.